In today's video, we're going to be looking at how to make Alia doll style shorts. But before we hop into it, let's have a look at some examples so we have a better idea of what we're going to be doing. The three examples are all pretty similar, which is a good thing. They reuse a lot of the same assets, which means that if you want to do this type of style, you can just create a big library of assets and then reuse them across projects. The main things we can take away from this is the type of animation, typography, texture, and sound design. The animations are pretty simple. There's a lot of position and just a little bit of wiggle, but one thing they do a lot and what makes it stand out is the paper folding animations, which is my main emphasis of this tutorial. The typography is pretty simple. They use a small amount of fonts and they keep it pretty simple. The only real thing that is worth noticing is the use of ransom letters just to match the style of the paper folding animations. The use of texture is very complementary to the style with the paper and old school vintage type look, which, you know, it's important to have that just to make everything cohesive. Their sound design is super simple, but super useful and well done. And as I've talked about before, sound design can just really elevate all your animations to a whole other level. With that being said, the game plan for today is find and prepare the assets, create and animate the scenes, add the sauce and uh, finish. Speaking of finding and preparing the assets, I've already found and prepared my assets. I have a few that I've printed out that we are gonna be adding the stop motion, paper folding animations to. Once they're printed out, you wanna take them out and you wanna cut them out of the paper. Once you've done that, you can start your folding animations. I'd start one object at a time. Lay it flat, use some even lighting if you have. Otherwise, you can always go outside and lay it on top of a piece of paper or even a blue, green or red piece of paper just to create some contrast between what you're trying to cut out. It's gonna make it easier in post. Otherwise, you can just cut it out manually. In this process of folding your pieces of paper and capturing them with either a phone or camera, you wanna make sure that you keep in mind how you want it to animate because essentially you just have this one chance. Once you've captured all your stop motion pieces, you can take those files, put them on your computer and open them in Photoshop. Here, you want to start out by lining them up. From there, I like working with smart objects and layer masks just in case I mess up or regret something that I've done. It's always best if you can to work in an undestructive matter. Once you've done all of that, you can save your file as a PSD because we can drag that straight into After Effects where we don't have to export every single layer as a PNG. Pretty much all the pre-work out the way so we can hop straight into After Effects and actually start having some fun animating. So in After Effects, I have a 1080 by 1920 composition because we are making a short at 24 frames per second. The first thing that we're going to be doing is animating the end of our little sequence. And for that, I was thinking of using the people cutout and then also the black background square thing that we made. So I'm going to take my PSD file and I'm just going to drop it in, click OK. Then it'll make a pre cut with it and that's going to make it pretty simple for us. You can always mess around with how many frames you want each frame to show. I'm just going to start with maybe two frames. And I know this last one is my final frame, so it's going to show the full thing. I want it to end on that. And then I'm just going to use motion tools, sequence, and then we have this. I want to extend this a good bit. Pretty simple animation. That's pretty much all you got to do for a, a paper cutout animation. I'm going to scale it up so it covers the full screen and maybe move it down here so we get something that looks kind of like that. I also want to add my couple. So I'm going to drag that in. Same thing. Click OK. And then we can do the same thing. Select everything. Two frames forward. Shift Command D. Split it. Go to the beginning, sequence, and drag out the final one. If you go back in there, I want my couple to come in first, and then the background to come in off. Those are kind of like stagger the animations a little bit. I'm also going to take my couple and scale them up and move it down to about air maybe. So we are working with something that looks a bit like such. It's very monotone, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a hue saturation to my black background and then we can colorize it. This color is pretty nice, so we're gonna do that. And just like that, we have our first bit of animation. From here, I'm gonna animate this couple out. I'm gonna add a position. I'm just gonna keyframe the position, go a couple frames forward, drag him down a little bit to the right, a couple more, drag him and a couple more, and then cut the layer. Select my keyframes, right click on the keyframes, toggle whole keyframes, space them out maybe a little bit more. Once they go out of frame, I want my next thing to come up. And this time we're gonna do the circle shape. So if I take my circle, drop it in. Again, if we just open it up, two frames, sequence it, go back into our main comp. It's gonna come in like that. We're just gonna rotate it a little bit, put it behind here. And once this circle comes in, I wanna zoom into it. So I'm gonna add 
add an adjustment layer and add a transform right here i want it to begin so i'm going to keyframe the scale go a couple frames forward scale it up a couple more just like that you and right click toggle whole keyframes and now we have that i want to space it out just a little bit more it's a bit too fast so space it out a little bit from here i want our ransom letters to come in one by one i'll drag the photoshop layer in and once all the letters in there of course we're just going to do the same thing we did with everything else all right now we have all the letters now we just need to arrange them how we want and we want them to come in right here so i'm going to move forward scale them down a little bit because they are too big now we can arrange them how we want let's see what that looks like I'm just going to select all of them to use motion tools again and just randomly sequence them just for a little bit more visual interest. The one thing we can also do to this is since the colors are very similar, we can add some hue saturation to it to change the colors a little bit to make it stand out a little bit more. So now we have this little piece of sequencing here. As you can see, most of the work is done before we even hop into After Effects. That's just another thing that makes this a little bit more tedious because all these letters you could in theory print out a whole alphabet and then you have it whatever you need it. The last thing I'm gonna do is add my orange square. I want it to come in just a little bit after the letters. I'm gonna switch up the rotation and scale a little bit and I want it to cover this bottom half down here. As that comes in, I want everything else to move up. So I'm gonna add an adjustment layer here add another transform keyframe the position go a couple frames forward move it up you select my keyframes right click toggle hold keyframes and let's see what we have here on this orange square what i'm thinking of doing is actually revealing a picture in here i'm gonna go into my orange square as soon as i start seeing orange that's the frame i'm gonna start on so this frame right here i'm gonna select it and then hitting g i'm gonna bring up my pen tool and then i'm just gonna mask out this orange bit go to the next one and mask out all the orange so there we go now we have all our oranges masked out then we can take a photo photo right here we are just gonna use just put it to a track mat scale it down and rotate it that is pretty good so now if we play that back this is what it looks like take these two move them above all of this duplicate it move it up here open our masks and then just invert all of them and that should do it let's go back into this and see what we're working with that's pretty much all I wanted to cover in this tutorial in terms of the Ali Adult style and creating these paper folding animations. But there are a couple more things we can do to spice it up a little bit. First thing is, you know, the secret sauce. Posterize time, add that, set it down to 12 or even 6. Add a transform and add set the scale to 101 and then alt click the position. Posterize time, 6. Wiggle, let's do a 15,3. And that's just going to add a little bit of extra movement. I want to take this camera effect and apply it to all my main cutouts, just like that. And that's just going to add that little bit of extra emphasis. Then I'm also going to add some drop shadows just to, you know, make it seem like the stuff is laying on top of each other and not just, you know, let with no visual context and then we can add a little bit of texture as per usual i have my pre-made ones which you know they're just nice to use scale them down a little bit because they're way too big tape a texture i think we will set to overlay and add a curves decrease that a little bit now i'm going to pre-comp all of this of course i'm just going to enable track mats to all of my textures because we don't want that in the background so we actually get a transparent background and that is pretty much all there is to this tutorial i love playing around with this paper style animations it just looks so cool and once you add the sound design to it as well you know it's you really can't go wrong with it hopefully you learn some new techniques and you feel inspired to do some of this because i mean you can do this create a bunch of different circles squares and letters and then you can use it for various projects you know you can use it over and over again which makes it super useful for short style content like this that's all for this video i just want to say thank you for watching and uh i'll see you again next week